So I, I'm going K2? Yes, yes. Yeah. You are going with no, no, no. I am their duty there, sir. Please, let's go. Okay. Life is full of small steps. Now we're about to get on the airplane to head up the start. Wow. Scar do. Look at these mountains just looming here above the airport. Just an awesome, awesome scene. You're kind of walking through what's called the bazaar. This is the general market and uh, you know pretty much you can buy just about anything that you want here. So, so this this is Kami. Where are you from? So Kami and I summited Everest together in 2011. Oh great. Strong, strongest Sherpa ever. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so the uh, the highlight of the day so far is that everybody's gotten popsicles. Yeah. And everybody's enjoying their popsicle. Scardu. Scardu. We're in Scardu. Scardui. Scardu. Concordia Hotel Scardu. Well, okay, I guess there we have it. Uh, so let's look at the map here and really make sure where we are. And it looks like that we are in Skardu. So we're here just in a beautiful area next to the river and some awesome, awesome mountains. And uh, we're here next to the hotel and the garden area. And these are the jeeps that we're going to use to go up and uh, go ahead and head on up to the Scully. And uh, you can tell these things are really tricked out. These drivers are incredibly proud of them. They keep them perfectly clean, they buff them up. And so, these are some of the folks around here. Hello, sir. And all our gear goes in these less glamorous vehicles. You know, pile it all up here. But you can see these things, they are just unbelievably tricked out. So, they got chrome on the engine. All you, all you gearheads out there, you'll love this. Here, let me show you the inside of one of these babies. So, we'll actually sit back here in the back and uh, hopefully these curtains will be up so we get some fresh air in here. But uh, some of these things don't have curtains on them. So here's the inside of one of them. The road itself that we'll be on is unbelievably bumpy and dirty and dusty. And we'll be in these things for like the next eight hours today. Where are we going? Where, where are you taking these guys? Where are you going? He doesn't know. A scully. A scully. Okay, so here's the problem. You see the uh, rock is actually coming down um, this slope. 
and what's happened is it's come down it's made the whole rock the area wow these are big rocks now coming down and it's made the entire road way too narrow for the jeep to get through So here we are in Escoli and these are the porters starting to gather very early. Uh, we still have over an hour to go, but they're gathering to uh, get work. So everything is weighed uh, by hand here, a little hand scale, including all these little wooden boxes that have mostly food in it, it looks like. But uh, the porter won't carry more than about 25 kilograms. Okay. Johnny Ho. Johnny Ho. <laughs> to uh, attempt K2. I'm back here to, uh, to honor mom and my aunts and everybody else with Alzheimer's. I have a mission, I have a cause. And uh, that cause will push me further and harder than I've ever pushed in my life. And if there's any doubt that we were on a glacier, um, this is actually ice here underneath the, uh, the dirt. Well, it's July 7th, 2014. We're at the Goro 2 camp and just a beautiful, beautiful morning. We got a light dusting of snow overnight. And today we're going to head up to Concordia and then over to uh, Broad Peak Base Camp where we'll spend the night. Okay, beautiful, beautiful morning here. Uh, this is looking towards Concordia. The big mountain that you see looming right there, that is called G4, or Gasher Brahm 4. These guys are helping each other on the load. There goes Connie jumping down. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> Well, it's July 8th, 2014, and we're here at Broad Peak Base Camp. Got in last night, and it was totally cloudy, but look what we see this morning. <laughs> there it is. There's K2. Oh my gosh, look at how big that mountain is. It uh, is 13,000 feet from where, where I'm standing to the summit, and it might as well be 13 miles or 13,000 miles. It's a huge mountain. We'll be taking probably the Abruzzi Spur. That's the, uh, the route, the ridge on the far right-hand side of the mountain. I'll zoom in there. You can kind of get a little bit of a feel for it as much as I can with this camera. Go up and we'll hit the shoulder up there and then uh, go on up to the summit. There's the summit. I'll zoom in on that a little bit. You really can't see that big old Serac as clearly as I'd like to, but it's up there and it's waiting for us. Okay, we're approaching uh, K2 Base Camp. It's down here at the bottom on the moraine of the Goodwin Austin Glacier. You can see it's really just carved out on top of the rocks. Lots of tents here. So I'm at the Gilkey Memorial on K2. This is really hallowed ground. 
a lot of plaques are up here to honor climbers who have died climbing K2. They have a beautiful view. There's K2. There's K2 base camp down there. Let's squawk up. You can see some of the plaques. Sadly, there's too many up here. A lot of them have names that are carved into metal plates. Some of them have pictures. Some are very sophisticated. Some are very simple and very old. Some have worn away. And then there's some that are brand new. I'm gonna carefully make my way around to one that's very special to me. That's to my friend, Pierre McDonald. Died in 2008. I'm trying to save his life for others. Rest in peace, buddy. We miss you. Hey, it's July 11th, 2014, and this is a very important day. It's an auspicious day on the Buddhist calendar, and hence we're going to have our puja this morning before we start heading up. Okay, we're getting everything prepared to go up for our first rotation. Looking at a lot of different food here. Okay. Yep. You got the Sherpa coffee? You got the Sherpa coffee? Yes, Sherpa coffee in here. <laughs> there. <laughs> Sherpa coffee. Cappuccino. Cappuccino. <laughs> okay, on the way to ABC for our first rotation up to Camp 1 and hopefully Camp 2. Some money. Yeah. Then he said, okay, okay, okay. I think he's okay. We'll confirm, but yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. We're about 17,500 feet between ABC and Camp 1. That's Matt up there. You can see this is, uh, this is pretty steep, and it gets even steeper. Yeah, I would say right now it's around uh, 40 degrees and it'll increase to around 50 to 60 here shortly. Looking back down, there's uh, Garrett and Rick coming up. If you look out, you can see a camp or ABC tent down there. Uh, it appears that we have uh, a nice West Arrow blade here. And here we have... Uh, Watch my car, my mind's gone, some type of... Anyway, very secure at Uh Then we have a variety of knots. Uh, fishermen's have a figure of eight. And then it looks like there's a figure of eight with some type of backup here. And the equalized anchor is very nicely. It's confidence inspiring. If you worry about this whole thing flaking off, you probably shouldn't be here. 
geology so, in action. So you trust your life to this, this setup? I do this particular one, I guess. I have no choice. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get to inspect it before I got up here. And we're going to keep on heading up. And you can see this is the uh, way to Camp 1. It's up there just below those three black gendarmes that you see sticking up. It's probably another two hours for us. It's July 13th, 2014. This is Camp 1 at about 20,000 feet on K2. As you can see, it's really, really tight up here. And it's really steep coming up from an advanced base camp. It took us about five hours to get up here on the first rotation, which, you know, it's not great, but it's not bad at all. But swinging around, you can see the Goodwin Austin Glacier. And as I swing up towards Camp 2, you know, this is the reason that all these tents are all crowded together. It's unbelievably steep and just goes straight up. House of Chimneys up there, the Black Pyramids up there, and that'll be our next destination. Well, hey everybody, this is Alan from K2 Base Camp. It's uh, July 21st, leaving tomorrow morning, head up to K2. You know, this is what we've been working for. Um, so you guys know what this is all about, and I appreciate all your support. Appreciate you coming along with me to the top, hopefully. All right, climb on. This is Alan. It's Thursday, June 24th, and we're packing up, getting ready to head up to Camp 2 on our summit push. Here are the boys in here doing a little, a little cooking. Rice pudding. Rice pudding? Yeah. All right. Sounds good. Here are the other boys over here crawling out. Hey, Matt. Sunrise here in the air corn. And that's where we're headed. Okay, here we are between camp one and camp two. About 20,500 feet. Taking a little break. And now we're gonna head up higher. From here on out, it gets in the rock. We gotta worry about the rock, is that right, Kami? Yes, this part is very dangerous because the rock fall down. But you guys, uh, walk slowly, otherwise too tight and All right, you heard it here first. If you, if you pull the rope too tight, whoosh. There's a lot of bear glass on the route. <laughs> hey, Matt. We're having fun now. <laughs> we are having fun now. Okay, we're at the uh, base of the uh, house's chimney, and you can see somebody heading up it right now. chimney is right kind of in the middle of it and camp two is right above really right right above that cornice right there and that's the black pyramid up there i'll zoom into that a little bit and then come back around you can see the guy heading up house the chimney right now That's where we're going to go in a few minutes. 
Okay, I'm about halfway up. Okay, I'm about halfway up house the chimney. There's Matt. You may wave, Matt. There he is. He's already climbed up it. You can see the ladder. We've got some decent front point footholds here. And this is House of Chimney from the top. So what is a Sherpa's oh, yeah. pulse oximeter reading show pulse. at 22,000 feet? 60... Oh, oh good. Heart rate 108, oxy 65. Easy, easy, Yeah. Okay, we're at Camp 2 on K2. Can you believe that? And uh, this is uh, another one of these spaces that Real estate is very, very barren. You can see the winds just destroy the tents up here. Uh, this is the Pakistani team. Uh, it up here, a little under five, about five hours or so. That's when I got up here. So there we are, Camp Two. We just got the weather forecast from Michael Fagan. What did what he say, Garrett? He said it's looking good for us on the 27th. Uh, trace possibility of snow but uh, winds about 15 miles per hour on the summit cool all right now we're all dressed up in our down suits we're gonna make the little trip up to uh, camp three and across the black pyramid here are the black pyramid here's Matt there's Garrett I'm gonna climb the ladders on top of one pier bed. This is where we just came out. We're going to start in our ropes, pins, and tops. And that's what everybody's jugging up. Coming up from Camp 2. Right down there, you can see the tents off on the right of the picture. Beautiful, beautiful day. July 26, 2014. We're at Camp 3, 24,000 feet. Okay, two. <laughs> Getting packed up to head up to Camp 4. There's the monster. Looking into China, over the Karakoram Range. See some glaciers you don't normally see. Got the broad peak. There's the Yukon Mountain. This is July 26, 2014. You can see some climbers heading up. We're making good progress. A lot of lines sinking along. We've already passed the, uh, the bottleneck. So now all I have left is the summit. And what a beautiful, beautiful day.
We're almost to some of the K2. I'm gonna head to work for this one. And I right here. That's right, it doesn't come easy. Not on K2. We're all working hard today. Yeah. <laughs> Well, here we are. July 27th, 2014, on the 7th of K2. Unbelievable. Up here, okay. You just summited K2. How's that Coke taste? Unbelievable. <laughs> I can't believe we summited K2. Thanks to all you guys. You're welcome. Thank you very much. Well, well done, team. Camp 2 is down there. And there's base camp halfway between camp three. Sorry, halfway between camp two and camp three. Just trying to hold it together. Look at all these ropes. Woo! All the trees on this one. Ah. This is a ladder in the Black Pyramid going down. You can see Camp 1 down there in Camp 2. Let's turn back around. There's Matt coming down in the surface. Well, I'm a little worried. My urine is turning black. It was brown. 24 years ago, I had some two liters or more of water overnight. So, I don't know what to think. I'm trying to get down to ABC and talk to Garrett, talk to Dawn, we'll see if there's a doctor in camp or maybe we can call one. I know it's dehydration, but I'm afraid my kidneys are shutting down and my whole lower back now is really hurting. And it's not from the pack, it's only about less than 10 pounds. So I'm going to do my best to get down. I'm still having trouble catching my breath, even with 
the oxygen. I know there's oxygen down ABC. It's not that far away. So that's what I'm gonna try to do. So Kami, we climbed K2, didn't we? Yeah, yeah. We are successful in K2, but in the way, a uh, little bit uh, difficult because the Baldur Glacier was a very long way. That's why Allen was very tired, but it's okay, no problem. Now we, we are in Escarto. Today we go uh, Escarto, yeah. Now, <laughs> yeah, we are waiting for the Jeep. <laughs> We're waiting for the Jeep. Well, thank you, Kami, so much for all your help. I appreciate it, man. Okay, no you're, you're a great guy. No problem, yeah. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay. <laughs> well, we just climbed K2, and now we're in a, a Scully, and we're getting ready to go. Here's our steam driver. How are you guys doing? Everybody, everybody okay? Everybody ready to roll? All right. Inshallah. Back door. Okay, we're there. It was a good trip. Hey, Matt, you just summoned to K2. What are you going to do now? Sleep for 24 hours and go to Disneyland. Climb on. Yeah, baby.